<clears throat> First, for the record, uh, please state your name and relationship to the deceased, Derek Mills. My name is Victoria Adler. Derek was my fiance. Hey, how was the game last night? Hmm? The game you watched with Sage, how was it? Oh yeah, <laughs> it was fun. Yeah? Who won? The other team. Oh, that's too bad. Wait, who was playing? Actually, B, I'm really busy right now. Can we talk later? Yeah? Yeah, right, sorry. Um, the Penelope Stevens, I'm Derek's neighbor. Damn it. Here, let me. Thanks. I'm Derek. Are you, uh... New to the neighborhood? Penelope, um, and yeah, I, uh, recently moved in. Cool. Well, uh, I gotta go, but it was a pleasure to meet you. Me too. I'll see you around. Me too. Sage Adler. He was my best friend. He was engaged to my sister. Now, how long have you known Derek? I knew him for two years. We got engaged seven months ago. Not a long time, around one month. Around a year now. Victoria introduced us. We clicked immediately and... He quickly became one of my favorite people. So, how was your relationship with Derek? I travel a lot, so... Complicated. But... What relationship isn't, you know? I thought we were in love. Victoria, say something. You're seriously overreacting. You haven't said anything since we got in the cab. Really? Come on. Is there something going on between you and my sister? What? No, of course not. I saw you flirting with her. <laughs> this is insane. V, she's my best friend. You probably just saw us joking around. Oh, do not bullshit me, Derek, okay? I know what I saw. Why do you always do this? You see shit where there's nothing. I love you. Do you just believe that? Look, I... I'm not trying to be difficult. Okay, I just... I know. It's okay. I'd say we were friendly. I, I mean, we chatted a couple of times, nothing special. So I was making some cookies, and I was wondering if you wanted some. How'd you know I had a sweet tooth? Baker's intuition, of course. You know, I have plenty to spare. Is that so? Yeah. 
Come here, please. I see. You knew him well then, didn't you? Better than anyone. He knew me even better than that. I'd like to think so. I mean, we live together. You know, live with somebody and not eventually get to know something about them. Right? Did you know she was pregnant? I mean, I get this man cheated, but shit. Imagine going through all that to just get revenge. Yeah, just divorce Nicholas, and then Amy gets all the money. Some women really need to learn how to control their emotions. Hey. <laughs> Not you, of course. Mm-hmm. You would never get that irrationally angry. Wait, you think her anger was irrational? You know what I mean. <laughs> And yet, they remained upright throughout this life and death struggle. I don't know. What do you want me when to is she, um, coming back from her work trip? Tomorrow morning. So, that means we have the place all to ourselves. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. Come on, Sage, we talked about this. You know I can't break up with her yet. Her client is huge for us. I know, I just... So, until the deal is closed, which is soon... We just have to sneak around a little longer. I know, I just, I, I feel that. Hey, you trust me, right? It'll be just me and you. No one else. Were you aware that Mr. Keller was in a committed relationship with a woman named Victoria Adler? I found out later on. I see. There was this other girl, though. Uh, She came around a couple times. I I never knew who she was, but her relationship with Derek seemed... intimate. You never met that girl, but you did interact with Miss Adler. Yeah, I mean, Victoria and I weren't close or anything. We just chatted occasionally, the way neighbors do. Oh, wait, wait up. Hi, um, can I help, help you? Hi, um, we haven't met yet. I'm Victoria, I'm your next door neighbor. Nice to meet you. I'm Penelope. What can I do for you? So this is gonna sound insane, jealous, and pathetic, but I think my fiancé is cheating on me, and I'm about to go on a work trip, and every time I try to bring it up, I always just end up... Hey, hey, it's okay. Um, trust me, I, um, I get it. Um, what do you need me to do? I leave tomorrow. If you... If you see this girl come to apartment three, could you maybe just give me a call and let me know? Uh, I'm sorry, um, apartment three, that's your apartment? Yeah, I I live with my fiance, his name's Derek. You're engaged to Derek. Shit. I'm sorry, Victoria. Um, I think I have to tell you something. Tell me about your sister. How to describe Victoria? Well, she is pretty self-centered. She's always trying to fix things. People. Me. Half. She's my half-sister. Have you even checked her file? I mean, she acts like I'm this nuisance. You know, the epitome of evil, but 
I mean, do you know how many times I've had to bail her out of jail for a store she vandalized or a fight she started? <laughs> you know, I think it's kind of hot that you went to juvie. <laughs> yeah. You like that I can beat people up? That I can beat you up? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> See, you're lucky you got a pretty face. It helps you get away with shit. Aw, Derek. You think I'm pretty? <laughs> and what happened after she found out about their affair? She was furious. She yelled. She even threw things at him. I'd never seen her so angry. So betrayed. Yeah, I mean, everyone could hear them. You didn't know what the fight was about, but you knew something was happening. And how long was the affair? A couple of months. We didn't plan for it to happen, it just... It just happened. He said he was gonna break up with her. That we would be together. But I was the one for him. He told me that it was a... a one-time thing awful mistake. He claimed that Sage got him drunk and seduced him. What happened after you found them together? Shit. Unbelievable. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Seriously? You've got to be fucking kidding me. It, it, it's not what it looks like. I Oh, really? Because it looks like you're fucking my fiance. I left grab my stuff and haven't been back to the apartment since. All I know is he ended things with Sage. So you slept with him? Yeah, and again, I am so sorry. I mean, I have absolutely no idea. For a whole year, I mean, he made me feel insane. Every time that I would try to bring it up, he found some way to turn it back on me. That's what they do. They cheat and make you feel crazy for suspecting. It's not your fault. He's sleeping with her. Who? I'm a cliche. He turned me into a goddamn fucking cliche. What are you talking about? You know how much shit I did for him? I wasted a year of my life. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. I made his career. And this is how he repays me? With my neighbor and my fucking sister? Ugh. <sighs> What happened after she found you together? How'd he react? He left. What do you mean? What? Why are you doing this? I... I thought... Derek, I... Can I just... No, really, I, I, I need... No, I need to tell you...
When's the last time you saw Derek? Two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. What are you doing here? Any final statements? Look, I know what I said about Sage. And yeah, I'm I'm infuriated with her right now. And yeah, she's made a lot of mistakes, but she's not a killer. Honestly, most women are not killers. We give and we give and from what I gather, Derek takes. And I'm not surprised he eventually took too much and made whoever did this snap. She probably didn't want to do it. I bet he spoke and she saw red. 